Okay, slowly but surely we are inching closer to spring and warmer weather in spring and it's starting to settle in Northeast Ohio. It's been nice. Mm -hmm. These next few months mark the perfect time for you and your family to reintroduce yourselves to the great outdoors. For more, we go live to Nicole Hinman, who's at the North Chagrin Nature Center with the signs of spring. And I see you have one of them in your hand. <laughs> I do. I am here at North Chagrin Nature Center, one of the five nature centers, part of the Metro Parks. And spring is here. We have some rain going on behind me and these amphibians love that rainy weather. So all these things have to happen for this kind of secret amphibian migration that happens every year this time. It has to be about in the 40s overnight, warm during the day and rainy like this. And when that happens overnight, we have hundreds of frogs and salamanders that come out from underground to these pools where they mate and lay their eggs. Hmm. So this is one of them right here. This is a spotted salamander. So last Wednesday, we had a big movement of all these amphibians and we saw hundreds of these guys underneath. So this is movement? a mole salamander. Hey, where are they movement. coming from? They come out of they come out from underneath the ground okay. and they make their way to those pools. I was going to say they're not migrating somewhere. And that's where they're going to mate. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. a short migration. It's right. not like a bird, but they, they do <laughs> migrate because uh, they spend most of their life underground. They're this is one of those. This is a mole salamander. We have, yeah, we have several species here. I want to show you another one as well. This one is called a smallmouth salamander. Here, here it is. Look. Oh. Yeah. So she's also one of these, um, these mole salamanders who spend most of their life underground except for days like this so they're out in the pools mating. And one small mouth salamander can lay upwards of 700 eggs. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Just one salamander. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. So they come out also during these rainy days. And I have to show you one of my favorites that's in here. They're called a marbled salamander. Uh, it's also one of these mole salamanders. They spend most of their life underground. But this one's a little different in that they actually mate in the fall. But they're really great mothers. So the mothers are a little bit um, darker. Yeah. And they curl up with their eggs on the forest floor to keep them wet <laughs> until it rains, which is pretty awesome. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize there were so many of these guys. You know, you go down to Florida and you see the cute little geckos everywhere. Um, but you really need to look hard for these guys and they are abundant yeah. in the metro parks. It's, it's amazing. They're underneath their feet for most of the time, but this time of year they're out. Um, so we're going to really celebrate that at the metro parks. We have a few uh, programs coming up this Friday here at North Chagrin Nature Center. We have a family Friday night and that's going to be uh, at 7 o'clock. We're going to be talking about amphibians. We'll be going for hikes looking for these guys. We'll also be looking for their eggs, which looks kind of like a big gelatinous ball, if you can see that. Oh, there. yeah. Those are the we'll eggs? We'll be looking for their eggs. I <laughs> know. It's pretty awesome. So it actually feels like a big thing of jello. And inside is a bunch of little salamander eggs. Oh, my gosh. So we'll be going gosh. for hikes looking for them. I <laughs> know. It's fantastic. So we'll be looking for those on Friday at 7 o'clock. We also have a amphibian afternoon also here at North Chagrin Nature Center on Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. We'll have activities. We'll have these native amphibians, but also amphibians from around the world. That'll be our one time to see those. And this is a free event um, for the whole family. And then if you want to be a little bit more active, this Wednesday at Euclid Creek Reservation, we have a step into spring hike at 9 a.m. Uh, it's going to be doing the new Eastern Ledges Trail. So we'll get mm, our oh, cool. blood pumping right in the morning. And we'll be looking for other signs of spring as well. So we're really celebrating it here. Nicole, um, that's fascinating. At the Metro Park. Yeah, thank you so much. Creek. What a great education. Yes, yeah. it's beautiful there. And all of the great Metro Parks and frogs galore too. Yeah. So they're all out and doing their thing. Uh, do we get to say goodbye? Absolutely. Great, thanks. All right, thank you so much. We hear the geese too. Yep. The Canada goose. I don't think the frog was waving to us, but it looked looked like it Look was sad cute. that we were leaving. Right. Look at those little salamanders.